Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate, uh, well, we're going to unbox, demonstrate, and provide a full review of the Dopes Play DR158. And you might ask what that is. Excellent question. This is a very cool device. This is a ultra portable mobile dock. And you might ask what that really means. Well, it means you can plug your cell phone into it and it will convert it up to basically being a full laptop. Well, a full Chromebook, and that, that's because we're going to use a Samsung S22 for most of the demonstration, but if you connected it to an Apple iPhone or an iPad, it's an iOS device. Because this lap dock is a battery-powered external screen with a keyboard and a mouse pad. So some devices, like the Android devices and the Apple devices, will treat it as a dock, whereas other devices, like PCs and laptops, and gaming consoles like the Switch and Xbox and PS5, will just treat it as an external screen. Now, say you're traveling and you want to carry a second screen with you. Well, this thing's super light. It's only 5.8 millimeters thick. This is a sample from uh, Dope's Play, uh, and it comes out in August of 2023. So if you're watching this, hopefully it's already out. Uh, but you can pre-order it now even if it's before August of 2023. Now this is not the first time that we've seen a device like this. They've been around for about a decade or so but they've never seemed to quite get them right. Uh, we're really hopeful with this one because man it looks good in the uh, promotional stuff we've seen so far and the specification. Uh, we saw this originally back in I'm gonna say 2015 something like that with uh, with an LG product. We were off to the LG distributor and we were looking at uh, you know new products that they were involved in developing, and the LG product was pretty cool. They actually had a, a spot for you to slide your your lap, your phone right into, and it would convert it basically into a full Chromebook very very quickly. Really nice. Uh, that was before Chromebooks were you know as popular as they are today. Uh, and Motorola had one before that, and so it has been tried before. But we we really think this these guys might have it right. This is one device that we actually have clients lined up for wanting to play with it. So let's get to opening this thing up and as we do, we'll go over the specifications. So here we have two USB Type-C ports. We also have a mini HDMI and a power light. Let's go around the front. Nothing, nothing. Over here we have the power button, we have an SD card reader, and we have an old USB 3 uh, slot, along with the usual 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that nobody uses. And you can tell this is this unit's immediately interesting by the hinges. And flip it all the way over, look at that. So I can tent it, I could use it on an airplane or traveling as a second screen, this thing's excellent. I can also flip it all the way over and just use it like a tablet. I love these types of devices. Two of the things that stand out immediately are, one, it has this great charging pad. You can use that charging pad for either your cell phone or for earbuds. It also has this massive trackpad. Let's get back in the box and see what's there. USB Type-A to USB Type-C. Great little adapter. And we have no doubt the charging block with the folding prongs. That's going to be great for traveling. A USB Type-C uh, L and a USB Type-C straight. When I say L, it's not a different version. It's just it's an L shape. And that means it'll slide in and not hang out the side of your dock. HDMI to mini HDMI and we have another USB-C to USB-C cable. When you open this up you have to pry it because it's magnetic. Listen. Okay, that slaps down and when it does go down the key the backlit keyboard will turn off and the screen will turn off. So this is a large 15.6 inch screen. It's an IPS screen. It has 300 nits, which is the brightness. Anything over about 250 is fine, uh, fine being good. And 72% sRGB. And you might ask, what is sRGB? Well, sRGB indicates the number of colors that this can actually represent. So RGB is red, green, blue. There are three colors on every pixel, which is every dot on here. You combine them, they make different colors. So 72% sRGB means that this panel, this screen, can represent 72% of pretty much all the known colors. Now there are some other standards that are actually higher, but the point is it's a good panel. Now this also has a, a speaker grill along the back, which hides two one watt speakers. You think one watt speaker, that's terrible. No, not terrible, it's just fine. You also have assorted control lights here. So whether your caps lock is on, number lock, things like that. This is one of the really big advantages to this device. Instead of requiring all of these cables, which you can use, you don't have to use them. You can do it 
wirelessly. And that is really cool. So uh, here, when we've just powered this up, just out of the blue, uh, this comes up first screen. Uh, and you can see here, it, it's explained for Android devices. You turn on your Bluetooth, you find the touches, blah, 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 blah. Bluetooth Connect, FB keyboard, so on and so forth, follow it through. iPhone, so your Apple devices, same sort of thing. Bluetooth Connect with Air, blah, blah, blah. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Wired connection, sure, you can use these cables. Uh, and uh, where you'd want to do that? Well, if you have a phone that doesn't have Bluetooth functional or has some other problem, if you want to use this as a second screen, if you just want to plug in this unit as a second screen for your existing laptop, Xbox, or your PlayStation, and if you're looking at this thinking, well, why would I do that? I've got, a list. I've got this keyboard here. Yeah, but you don't have to. Look. You can do that. You could also flip it over and tent it. And you can see the unit has a sensor and it has picked it up and it flipped it over all by itself. All right, now as far as configuration goes, uh, there is a hardware configuration. And if you read this and I know it's hard to do, you take two fingers, swipe down, and there's your settings volume, brightness, contrast, color. You can also say which port you want to be on. Click over to the right here. I can set the HDR settings. I can say how, how cool I want it, how warm I want the colors to be. Okay, let's do something fun with this bad boy and get it connected. Okay, so here we are with our Samsung S22, the nice thick uh, cover on it. Let's pop this on the uh, wireless charger and just see if it comes up. Yeah, no problem at all, even though that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to get this connected to that. Just this little charge pad's kind of cool. Okay, so what do we have to do? Well, follow the instructions here. Go to your Bluetooth. Touch S, pair it. Go to the FB keyboard and pair it. Pair. So I'm gonna swipe down, I'm gonna look at the top, I'm gonna search for DEX, D-E-X. If you're not familiar with DEX and you've got a Samsung, you probably got it. Click on Samsung DEX, click on DEX, Click on Samsung DeX, start DeX. There it is, Flipbook. Click on that, click start. Look at that, boys and girls. Yes, so I'm gonna take this. Now, I, I can just leave it here, although they'll drain the battery faster. But look at that, that has put this into DeX mode, which is a full Chromebook. And let's go to uh, OneDrive. And we'll do something. This presentation I put together a few years ago for uh, a uh, community group uh, in a couple of cities that we're interested in knowing about well, what's going on. Anyway, not important. Let's get rid of that. We don't need to have that open. Now let's go to Office. Now you can do all of this on your phone, but man, that's a big pain in the butt. Compared to doing the work on this awesome laptop. So one of the things that's really cool about this compared to the old Samsung DeX station or DeX pad, which is a dock that didn't have a keyboard or a screen, never mind a cool battery powered screen like this one. The phone that you're looking at right now, which is a Samsung S22 using DeX is wirelessly connected to that screen. And that screen can be fully operated while the cell phone itself can be used separately at the same time. Uh, I've taken calls on it already. I've also sent it and received a few texts. Look, I can click in here, but you know, you're not really gonna use the trackpad a whole lot because it's a touch screen. Let's go launch Netflix just for fun. But let's try to do some corporate work with this. Okay, so you can see the advantage of editing on this or uh, using this for presentations at a client's. This is a really great solution for that type of uh, thing for corporate use. However, let's say you just want to use it as a second screen. Let's connect from that to this. All we have to do is take the included cable, which is uh, HDMI to mini HDMI, plug this in the back of my HP 27 inch uh, all in one computer, which could have been a laptop, could have been an Xbox, could have been a PlayStation and then take the other end and plug it into the Dopes Play DR158W. Plug it into the mini HDMI slot. Bingo, comes right up. And you can see I can slide things around. If I wanted these screens to be duplicated, I can do that as well. All I would do is go into here and change my windows from extend to duplicate. Before we go over some of the drawbacks of this device and give you our final review, Let's take a look at what's inside. With a quick disassembly, 
of the DR158W from Dope's Play. So as you can see, there isn't much to repair or replace in here, other than perhaps the proprietary battery. So what do we think of the Dope's Play DR158W? Well, we think it's pretty cool. As far as drawbacks go, let's address those. Number one, it doesn't look like you can replace many of the components in here if there is a problem. Now, Dope's Play seems like a real company, but they haven't been around that long, so there's an issue with repairability. Secondly, the covers are made with plastic rather than metal, and that means they're gonna scratch up. Is that a problem? Not for me, but I know it is for some people. And lastly, while it is, I think, very light for a monitor, it isn't as light as some people might think it is. So that gets to the question of, would we recommend that our clients buy this? Yes, we would. This is a neat device that if for some reason you can't use it as a lap dock, as it's called, in other words, a dock for your cell phone, a cell dock, you can always just use as a second screen, just as a portable screen, which could be great for so many things from trade shows to working at home to traveling to client presentations, and when the battery dies, which it will at some point in the future, plug it in. Dope's Play has four or five of these types of products. Uh, this is the, the really cool one with the uh, keyboard built in, but they have other products as well. And have you ever used a product like this in the past? If so, hey, let us know. Put it, put it in the uh, comment section below. We'd really appreciate it. We'd really like to know, and others would like to know, what your experience has been. Did you have any experience with this company? Please let us know. And while we're asking you for things, hey, Please give us the big thumbs up if you found this video useful. Also, subscribe's always appreciated. And if you want to get a hold of us directly, you can always do so at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.